Hello and welcome to another episode of Only Mounds Down the Hill. Named Jarrow Monk. <laughs> like, did I forget that? Man, yeah, it's been it's been good. Recording's been good. Life's been good. Can't complain. We got through we got through the Thanksgiving week. Good job. I'm I'm making assumptions by the way. I probably shouldn't. I'm dating the episodes like I said I wouldn't. Um <laughs> But I mean, you know, it's it's gonna happen. It's one of those things that's just like unavoidable. Um I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking is this where the last Geronimo part it is. Eight crashes or fewer. Okay, we can do that. That is doable for sure. Let's go with the grasshopper. It's probably the most safe out of all these other bikes. Uh, this is going to be a slow ride. Do, 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 do. Take it easy. Do, 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 do. Slow ride. Who did that song? I know a lot of like classical rock fans are probably going to hate me for this. I, I just, it's, it's not really my Motley crew. You want to know the extent of my classical rock knowledge? You you need not look further than Guitar Hero uh, 2 and 3. You know? Um, I was about to say Wolf Mother. Uh, woman. But then I was like, that, that song came out in like 2006. That's not classic rock. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I guess it is, like, people would probably include Knights of Cydonia, that's in Guitar Hero 3, um, within one of those, uh, classic rock kind of vibes. It's mostly in that, that sick lick at the very end. Uh, I recently went to a Dave & Buster's, I don't know if you have Dave & Buster's near you, but it's basically like an adult Chuck E. Cheese. Um, lots of arcade machines, lots of coupons that, um, coupon machines that basically rip you off. <laughs> you have to pay 200 bucks for something that costs 50 bucks. But then you, you, you have the satisfaction of saying you earned it. If they had, like, actual, like, exclusive content behind there, I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying, like, arcades and stuff like that, they're a dying breed. But when it comes to Chuck E. Cheese and um, Dave and Buster's, or what's the other one? I'm trying to think of another one that I used to go to. Something Bones? Uh, no, I don't know. Ooh, okay, that was close. Should we be taking shortcuts? Probably not. <laughs> not if we want to hit the quota of eight or fewer cl uh, crashes. Did we use the right word there? Fewer. Look at us. If there's anything we, we take out of this game, you know, it's that. We learned how to... Which, uh, which word to use. <laughs> I had a... I had a revelation today about this game. Uh, like, once we complete all of these trials, unlock all the bikes, like, we're gonna be done. Sucks, dude. I don't want to be done with this game. I gotta find a replacement. I don't know. You guys got something? I played Skater XL. It's it's not a good replacement. <laughs> let's just let's leave it at that. Because the the main thing I like about this game is it's peaceful, but it's also stressful, but it's also like a like nice to look at. It's nice, like a conversational game. Uh, really opens me, uh, opens the conversational airways for me. You know, it's like talking to somebody while you're biking. Um, <laughs> don't ask me how that's like. I, I've never done that before, but I, I'd imagine it'd be like this. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it a little bit more, it's probably really tough to control your breathing. 
so we unlock the Geronimo. We've done it. Where do we want to test it? That's the real question here. Let's go to the very first trail. 14 crashes or fewer. Um, hold on. 14 crashes or fewer. Geronimo, here, we, here it is. Let's go test it out. It looks cool. That's undeniable. Undeniable. I'm trying to make the audio as... Wow! Did you see that jump we just survived? That's insane! We're gonna make all the jumps! What's this way? <laughs> okay, so this thing is like spring-loaded. It's basically like a tank. I was gonna say tank on wheels, but do tanks technically have wheels? It's just, or is it like four wheels? That are being, you know, it's it's kind of like four wheels being rolled into, into one. That's how tanks work, right? It might be more than four. I'm very tank ignorant. I apologize. I mean, I kind of apologize. I kind of also like don't care that much. <laughs> you know, if you if you're really into tanks, I'm sorry. Um, I mean, tanks are cool. I mostly just grew a disdain for them in uh, Call of Duty World at War. Because you get that you get that kill streak going and the tank shows up. It takes like seven rockets to kill. It's insane. Not about that life. Are you kidding me? We could survive like a jump from the top of a mountain, but we can't survive a ten little a little tiny rock. Okay, that's not a tiny rock. We can get super creative with this bike, though. Oh, not that creative. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh right, hold on. There's a, there's some, there's a pathway here. You know what? Hold on. We're, we're trying to survive with 14 or fewer crashes here. Let's not disappoint. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Are you kidding me? Okay, hold on. We're gonna go this way. And uh, check out whatever's over here. Because we can. Can we reach it? Give me a second. Yo, smooth criminal. Yeah, <laughs> we shaved off one second. Completely not worth it. Okay, all right, hold on. Let's, uh, all right, let's just peacefully bike the rest of the rest of the ride. Hmm. Yeah, hope you're doing alright. Yeah. Hopefully these videos add a little bit of a, posi a positive twist in your life. That's honestly one of my main goals. Um, that's why I talk about my own life. Like, not to be all f philosophical on you, but... I feel like, just in general, there's more negativity. There's more... It, it's really easy to, to, to come up upon um, people that are a little bit more down on life than it is to, to find people that are you know, trying to find out what to be happy about. Yeah? 
or like discussing things that are more happy focused, more positive focused. And I, I, I never want to come across as like, uh, um, I, I don't know, I guess like a hippie style of, of a content creator, YouTuber, whatever, conversationalist. Because if you, if you know me, I'm, <laughs> it's, it's really something that I'm personally working at myself. That's why I bring it up so much. That was awesome. Yeah, it, it, it's not something that comes naturally to me. We missed a checkpoint? There's no way! Now we have to bike back? That's strange. Yeah, we have... Uh, can we? Okay, we can. <laughs> this is very strange. Hey, there's the checkpoint we missed. <laughs> I feel like you're, you're kind of putting yourself in danger when it comes to missing a checkpoint, so they should reward you for missing a checkpoint. <laughs> How do I feel about the Geronimo uh, bike? It's it's fun, yes, but I feel like it's, a, it's one of those uh, specialty ones, you know? One of those you have to whip out whenever... Mm, let's go with the pace breaker one here. One of those you have to whip out whenever you're, uh, whenever the the need calls for it. You know, it's not one of those that I'm I'm gonna prefer. The pace breaker is my absolute favorite, just because of how fast it is and also how interactive it is as well. Is interactive the right word here? Yo, that was so cool. Oh my goodness. We shaved off so much time. Okay, okay. No, calm down. Yeah, it just feels the best to ride. Just in a general standpoint. You do get in situations where it's a little bit too high. You get a little bit dangerous. Oh, we're stuck. But in general, it's nice. <clears throat> I mean, a lot of people. I'm, get, I'm getting into, into a new vibe that I kind of was pretty good at. Um, when I was, like, a newer streamer, um, the thing they tell you when you're an up-and-comer, or whatever that means, um, they should honestly keep telling you this. It's just, uh, well, th they think it's gonna be, like, an easy habit, <laughs> is to make friends, you know? Um, I've always felt like I wasn't ever really that good at it. And then everybody that talks to me, everyone that the everyone that um, gives me feedback on that specific thing, they're like, "Yeah, you're really easy to talk to. I, I like that you're you make an effort to act like you're listening. <laughs> you make um oh wow, it's 150 and less than seven crashes, dude. That is an expert level difficulty thing." I don't know if we could do that, to be honest with you. <laughs> We're not there yet. Let's, let's put it that way. We'll, we'll need to, like, really tackle a specific mission and just learn every single nuance of it to be able to do that. It's insane. But we'll get there. We'll get there. I believe in myself. I also believe in a thing called love. Too much. That's probably too much for this morning. Uh, for this kind of video. Um, but yeah, like, the, the making friends part. 
It's not something that I've... Like, I would openly say that I'm good at. But I do want to, like, give more of an effort to... Um, to say hi to more people. And, like, stop by their stuff and... You know, communicate with you. Like, if you guys want to talk, um, you know, you could join the Discord and say hi. It's perfectly fine. I'll, I'll try. I'll try my best to respond. Um, stuff like that. Like, it, it stop by people's streams that host me. Like, things like, like, simple little things like that. It's, it's just... I'm getting back to it. <laughs> it's basically what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> it's one of those things where... Maybe one of those conversations with somebody falls apart. Like, maybe they become a bigger streamer and they start, in, like, not having time for you. And you're kind of like, you feel a little bit slighted. <clears throat> but, you know, just in general, they're making friends that are in a in more of a situation that they're in. It, it's the same thing as, like, old old age, like, growing up. You get uh, you get into different phases of life. Different phases of life, they have different um, problems to face. Same thing with a Twitch stream. Different uh, phases of a Twitch stream. Whether you're partnered, whether you're like sitting at 10 to 20 views versus 50 to 100 versus um, floating around middle of that. You know, we can go into a whole bunch of different um, nuances. And it doesn't all have to be, like, political. You know, I'm not... Like, please tell me if I'm making a friend with you and you feel like you're being taken advantage of. Like, I, gen like, I generally despise that kind of stuff and I find that in me and I immediately, like, squelch it. <laughs> For lack of a better term. You know, uh, any sort of unauthenticity within my, the figment of my being, <laughs> I, I try to kill, you know, and that goes, that, that, that's honestly, there's a lot, uh, there's a lot to unpack there, <laughs> to be honest, because there's, like, you get an, you, you get bad in both situations, okay? Like, unauthentic, uh, unauthentic people, they might be the nicest people you meet. Yeah. Like, being unauthentic doesn't mean that you're not a good person. You might be trying your best to be a good person, and you're, you're, you're suppressing all of the authenticity. Because you don't want to be, you don't ever want to come across as mean. And the same goes for the other side, which I see a lot more often. Uh, maybe it's because I'm a male, and lots of males want to be the alpha. So, they're a little bit more aggressive. And uh, wanting to be right all the time, or like, saying whatever they can about your personality, about your statement, saying that you're... You're, uh, you're less of X than they are. <laughs> you know, it, it goes, it, it's, yeah, it, it's a fine line to balance, and I, I can't believe we're, we're stuck here. I'm just gonna go the hard way. <laughs> you know what? Video game? If this is how you feel about me? Goodness, we're so fast. The pace breaker is awesome. Where does this go? Yo? Come on. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, we're going to learn this mission as best as we can. Uh, trail one. And we're gonna try to we're gonna try to master it. Thank you for uh, joining me with this discussion. We'll probably continue it in the next one. 
Um, we'll definitely continue it in the next one. I got a lot to say. So, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I'll catch you on the next episode. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this one, uh, this episode. Uh, I, I feel like I'm repeating myself like a billion times. But hit that sub button if you want to continue uh, watching these episodes. <laughs> if I say episode again, I'm going to have an episode. All right, I got to go. Peace out, man. See ya.